Are you a high school athlete that is really trying to just get strong in the gym this season or this off season, and you're ready to just start going, moving heavy weight as often and as frequent as you can? I'm going to talk to you today about why I do not recommend high school athletes especially doing heavy one rep max testing in order to get strong and help their performance. How do I know this? My name is Dr. Jeff Lewis, and I have helped countless athletes, especially baseball players, get back to doing what they what they love and doing it pain-free and stronger. So one rep max testing, I see this a lot in the high school world where guys really just care about how heavy can they bench press, how heavy can they squat or deadlift or cleans. And what I'll say more often than not is this is also unfortunately preached at the – at the at the school workouts more than anything, where there's a coach taking guys through and it's like, hey, we're gonna do squat, bench, deadlift, heavy three times a week. And this is like this is what I had in high school. And I look back and I'm like, what the heck were we were we doing? And I honestly there I do not see any benefit in having high school athletes one rep max one rep max test. More often than not, the guys that are in this conversation, they have not trained consistently for probably ever. Maybe they did some weight room stuff a couple times a week in the off season, but once the in season rolled around they didn't lift at all for six months, and then they're just essentially just a detrained athlete again come the offseason round. So for these guys, most of them just don't have either the physical or the neurological qualities to support a one rep max testing. And honestly, it doesn't matter how heavy of a weight you can use because if a guy does try to go do a one rep max testing, a couple things are going to happen. One, it's going to look terrible. It's going to look like they're learning how to walk for the first time. They're just trying to muscle up there. They're using their entire body versus just the area they want. So there's probably not going to be good good form there. Two is they're probably doing it really slow. When it comes to strength and conditioning, it's all about getting you used to moving sub-maximal to somewhat heavyish weights as fast as possible. If that's going to help you get stronger and get stronger in a better in a better safer way to help improve your sport performance if you just keep trying to say i'm going to just try to move heavy weight slow um, again powerlifters there's a different story but from a sport performance there's no but there's really no benefit there so this is why i really in the context of the barbell lifts trap bar deadlifts back squats front squats uh, baseball athletes i really don't like to bench press with so we'll talk about dump like dump, i don't like the barbell bench press we'll talk about dumbbell bench presses here um, but really those bigger lifts where there's naturally going to be a lot more weight involved, I like to have guys start at fives. Fives meaning like, hey, you might have three to five sets of five reps. You know, some people might say, well, if you want to build volume and, you know, hypertrophy, you need to be living in like the eight to 12 rep range or whatnot. Again, kind of like we saw before where in the one rep max range, most guys just don't have the physical and neurological traits to support that type of training. If you have guys do some type of barbell movement, back squats, front squats for like 8 to 12 reps, they're going to get crushed by the volume. And the volume is going to crush them so much that they're probably going to end up having terrible form anyways as it is. In my opinion, it's not about quantity. It's about quality. So I would rather guys drop down to say, hey, a 5 by – instead of a 3 by 8 so looking at 24 total reps, let's drop it down to a 5 a five by 5 So, yeah, it's going to be less – it's going to be less reps. We're not necessarily changing the exercise prescription. It still might only be a relatively like 65% intensity – but you're going to get better quality reps by and large over that longer time of 5x5 five five versus eight versus a 3x8. And it's going to just give them more confidence of how to move under the bar without being in an already very fatigued state. And then we'll, from there, get them comfortable at fives. Like, hey, they might stay at fives for instead of 5x5 five five for a while. They might drop it down to a 3x5. If, if a guy can hit a heavy set of five at like 80 to 85%, that's a that is like that is tough, and it's going to be very much indicative of hey, how much do they have like relative strength to that? And it's going to be you're going to just get a better feel versus just saying hey, go load up the bar full and rep max, and let me and let me see what you let me see what you can do, and then we'll eventually drop to some triples, some doubles. Again, I, I really doubles is probably as far as I go in season. If I'm confident that a guy can hit, we'll just say like a heavy single at like ninety percent. But again, meaning 90%, like, hey, you should still be able to do one more in the tank. If I'm confident that a guy can hit that and move it well, that's maybe the one time I'll start to use some heavier some heavier singles. I'm naturally going to be a little more confident in, my, in the collegiate and um, major league or professional guys with that, with that regard. But for a lot of these guys that are lifting for the first time, when it comes to just getting them used to moving weight on the bar – fives and triples are going to be a great way to just get them that exposure and expo and ex really exposure to relative intensity. So those are my thoughts on why I'm really am not a fan of having high school guys doing any type of heavy one rep max testing. You can get strong and will probably get stronger 
without con- trying to consistently do one rep max testing. It, you're just you're going to get a lot better moving submaximal weights fast, which again that is what we want to focus on for improving capacity to essentially be a better athlete on the field or, or in your respective sport. So again, if you're a high school athlete, you have more questions on strength conditioning, things like that, go ahead and leave a comment below in our comment, a question in our comment section below, or reach out to us in the number below and we'll answer your any questions you have on a more personal level.